Kamala Harris's path to bolstering her support may lie in consolidating voters who align with her stance on abortion. As the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee, Harris has demonstrated a stronger and more passionate stance on the issue compared to President Joe Biden, who has seen a notable decline in support among pro-abortion voters since 2020. This shift partly stems from general concerns about Biden's age and the perception that abortion has become less of a pressing issue compared to challenges like inflation. Additionally, former President Donald Trump's efforts to downplay the abortion issue have also played a role. With Harris now leading the Democratic ticket, the party sees an opportunity to refocus voter attention on abortion rights and reclaim support from this crucial demographic. Democratic pollster Anna Greenberg emphasizes that Harris can articulate the issue in a manner Biden couldn't, which resonates more effectively with voters. This reflects a broader belief within the party that, while abortion has been a topic of national debate, it hasn't been communicated as compellingly as Harris is capable of doing. Biden's struggle to capture the support of pro-abortion rights voters marked a significant shift from the past to national elections. In 2020 and 2022, Biden and other Democratic candidates received overwhelming support from these voters. Exit polls revealed that Biden won nearly three-fourths of voters supporting legal abortion in 2020, a trend that continued for Democratic House candidates in 2022. However, recent national polls before Biden exited the race showed him losing ground with these voters. A compilation of Marquette Law School polls this year found Biden capturing less than two-thirds of voters who believed abortion should be legal in most cases. Similarly, a CNN poll in April indicated Biden winning just three-fifths of those who disapproved of the Dobbs decision. Additional polls, such as those by Quinnipiac University and Yahoo News, Yagov, reported even lower support for Biden among pro-abortion voters. In contrast, Trump has maintained strong support from voters opposing legal abortion, with about 85% backing him, surpassing his 76% support in 2020. State-level polls have shown a similar trend, with Biden underperforming among pro-abortion voters in key swing states compared to his 2020 performance. For instance, a recent Yogov survey found Biden's support among pro-abortion rights voters didn't exceed 59% in any major battleground state, significantly lower than his 2020 performance. Despite significant ed spending on abortion by the Biden campaign and allied groups, Biden's decline with pro-abortion rights voters has persisted. Strategists from both parties agreed that these voters were influenced by broader concerns affecting all voters, such as economic issues and Biden's age. Additionally, Biden's personal ambivalence toward abortion, as noted by pollster Celine de Lake, may have contributed to his struggle to connect with these voters. Harris, however, has demonstrated strong advocacy for abortion rights from the outset. She has led the administration's efforts to defend abortion rights, holding events in red states, rallying on college campuses, and meeting with women and medical providers affected by new restrictions. Her campaign's Fight for Reproductive Freedom series underscores her commitment to this issue. Melissa Williams of Emily's List highlights Harris's relatability and experience as factors that make her a compelling messenger on abortion rights. Harris not only brings more passion to the issue than Biden, but she also connects it to broader themes of rights and freedoms under threat from conservative policies. This framing positions abortion within a larger battle for various rights and liberties. Harris's fervor in discussing abortion could also mobilize younger female voters, who have become disillusioned with Biden's ability to restore reproductive rights. John Del La Volpe of Harvard Kennedy School's Institute of Politics notes that younger women were increasingly resigned to a state-by-state -state reality on abortion, lacking the urgency and fire felt during Biden's earlier campaigns. While Harris faces many of the same challenges as Biden, her ability to more effectively communicate the democratic stance on abortion and broader rights could energize voters who felt disconnected from Biden. While this may not be enough to overcome all of Trump's advantages, it is a crucial first step for Harris in her bid to rally support and win the election.